Hello, I'm Eric Wallendahl, a manager at Wallendahl Supply Farms. Uh, I'm a third generation farmer uh, that grows in the central sand area. We grow anything from corn, uh, soybeans, snap beans, vegetables, uh, and historically we have done potatoes and any other type of vegetable that a canning company would want us to grow in that particular year. Uh, uh, we have been strip tilling for nearly 25 years now and are, are trying to perfect our different practices uh, in the ever-changing dynamic uh, field that we grow and uh, that we grow in and uh, take advantage of different industrial um, advances that that occur within our field. Uh, recently we have started using uh, manure from a local dairy and are trying to incorporate that into our strip tilling practices and adjust our, our growing practices, our management practices for the crops, specifically for corn and how, how these crops can utilize both strip tilling and, and manure together to marry it to create a, a great crop. One of the challenges that we have is uh, with local and, and state um, policies, we are limited to 260 units of nitrogen on several of our fields. Uh, the field behind us is one that we actually put manure on this recent year uh, and then strip till as well. We applied with a drag line method and, uh, and uh, through manure practices and, and traditional uh, ESN and fertigation, we have put on around 260 units. A hundred of that was put on initially with the manure. Um, and then we also did a, a typical startup fertilizer and a two by two furrow and did a four inch banding beneath with our strip till unit. Uh, the strip till unit that we're using is a 22 inch unit uh, rather than the, the traditional 30 that a lot of people have used historically. But we have found that with the manure and with the strip tilling and able to localize a lot of the nutrients, the corn is still able to, to bring up and uptake these these nutrients because of the localized, uh, not localized, but, but uh, all the nutrients are, are centralized within the root zone. Uh, we're able to get a little bit better spacing during planting and still retain all the, the um, characteristics of the corn that, that they're not overcrowding because of the 22 inch rows. Um, so that, that is something that we're highly, that we're really practicing with in, in these current upcoming years.